Hello and welcome to the Handgun Radio YouTube channel. I'm Ryan Machad. I'm out here with something really special today, the Detonix Pocket 9. So, no magazine, the gun is clear. Now, I was out at Thanksgiving last year and a family member said, I have this 9mm and I don't know what it is. He took this down and I said, whoa, okay, that is a Detonix Pocket 9. You may have seen this on Miami Vice, if you, uh, if you used to watch that show, it's on Netflix too, I think, right now. Um, Crockett carried this as a backup gun. They only made it for one year in 1985, the Detonics Corporation. They're better known for their smaller uh, 1911s. And this was their first foray into something that wasn't a 1911 design, as far as I know. Now, for some reason, it didn't really get that popular and they stopped making them, so they're not very common. I've never seen one. Uh, the gun has a lot of design cues that you would expect to see from a gun designed in the 80s, like the little trigger hook on it. It's also made out of all stainless steel, has aluminum grips on it, has trench sights, um, very snag free. It is a straight blowback, but it uses a system, it's called an annular gas ring. So inside the chamber, there's this ring, this groove cut on the inside, and when the gun fires, normally nine would be too hot for a blowback. It would just be uncomfortable to shoot. Well, what happens is that brass swells into that groove and it keeps the slide locked closed for a longer period of time so that way the pressure has time to drop down in the chamber and you get a better functioning firearm and it doesn't kick as bad. Now the recoil is pretty significant with this gun. The gun is fairly heavy though. I would say it's, it's at least 28-29 ounces. You may look at this today, you know, with all the 9mm that we have and say, you know, this is a wicked heavy gun. There's, there's no reason to have a gun this size and 9mm with that operating system. But you got to remember, at the time this was designed, people were still carrying small five-shot revolvers as pocket guns, which they still do, but there wasn't anything like this really on the market. And it's kind of a shame that it didn't do better because it's, it's not a terrible gun in the experience I've had with it. I have had uh, read reviews of people that didn't care for it as much. But at the time it was built, it was a decent option, it seems like. Uh, the trench sights are actually fairly decent um, when you're using it. They're actually pretty robust for, for a trench sight. Normally you don't see that front blade, but uh, not, very, not very hard to use. I will say that the thumb safety is easy, easier to take off, but really difficult to get on. You really got to get your fingernail underneath it, so that's a good thing. The only other thing I will know is the gun is particularly hard to disassemble. Um, I won't show this on the video, but I actually had to take a padded vise and pull down, uh, push up on the frame and have the padded vise pull these two switches down as I lifted the slide off. And it's actually pretty hard to get back together too, so I um, just wanted to give the gun a cleaning and make sure it would function right for us in the video. Uh, the magazine holds six rounds, I believe. And so we're going to take this out and we're going to shoot it. And I also want to show you the brass that's kicked out of it to see if there's any deformation because that would be an important thing for anybody who would consider reloading for this gun. So let's take the Detonix outside and see how it does on the range. All right, we're out here with the Detonix Pocket 9. We're going to try it out. 115 grain Fiocchi. Bit of a jam. It certainly is not very comfortable to shoot. <laughs> 